Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design concrete beams and STAD advanced concrete design from a model that was created and analyzed in STAD Pro. At this point in our workflow, we've already performed a design in STAD advanced concrete design for our concrete beams. And we're ready to take a closer look at those design results and possibly make any modifications that we would like. To start this process, I'm gonna go ahead and select a design group that I choose to work on. And for this exercise, I'm gonna select group one. Then in the menu bar, I'm gonna select modify, followed by design. Now this command can be used to modify the material or beam properties after the design is conducted. Here you can see I'm working on design group one and I can modify the concrete material grade or the steel grade and in addition to that the cover information. If I make any changes within this dialog I would click on the redesign option to check the new information against a code check and if I don't make any changes I can go ahead and click the cancel option. In addition to that, I can also re-detail any of the grouped concrete beams. So again, let's go ahead and select group number one. We're gonna to go to the menu bar option and then select the detail item. Now this command is used to modify the quantity or size of reinforcement after the design is conducted. And let's go ahead and pull this bar up. Now what we're doing is we're working on design group number one. And you can see that our bars have been organized for top bars, bottom bars, and also shear reinforcement. Within this dialog, I can change the bars at any of those locations. To change the bars, you're going to double click on that information and you can change either the quantity or bar diameter as you choose. If you do make any changes, go ahead and click on the green check mark to accept those changes. And here you can see that it, the design has been updated. If you would like to check the new design, we can go ahead and click on the accept button and we'll be able to see that information has been updated. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and save our model and keep the rest of the bars as they were detailed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.